The app offers a very convenient way to determine the most accurate possibly lines in order to measure the angle. Once you load or capture an image and insert the age of the patient, the transparent circular template appears. First you aim to locate the center of the femoral head by moving the template over the femoral head, trying to fit to a best fit circle to the contour of femoral head circumference. By clicking the point button, the center of the femoral head is marked. Page 1. To determine the second point P2 again you use the circular template of transparent cycles and you try to fit the best of circles to the two distant sites of the canal of the neck of the femur. By pressing the point button, automatically the center of the canal is located. P2. The selected two points are joined, and the resulting straight line P1 P2 forms the femoral neck axis. By repeating the same task you identify the third point, P3, and further distant you choose the fourth point, P4. The second line is drawn P3 P4 and the angle, A, between lines P1 P2 and P3 P4 is calculated, and appears in degrees in the screen. By inputting the age of the patient in the app, the measured angle is compared with values from normal reference database according to the patient age. The measured angle A is categorized according the following. If A, plus minus 1 SD, standard deviation, then anti-reversion is normal. If A, plus 1 SD then anti-reversion is increased. If A, plus 2 SD, then anti-reversion is excessive. If A, minus 1 SD, then anti-reversion is retroversion. This feature is at particular use helpful especially in clinical settings where you need a quick result without losing time in looking for reference data according to age variation in huge textbooks. The modified viewed in view, post anterior hip radiograph obtained in the sitting position with the patient facing the film in 90 degrees flexion of the hip and near with the hip abducted by 30 degrees, offers a way to measure NT version by simple X-ray without the use of CT and thus reducing radiation exposure and patient cost. Femoral antiversion is defined by the angle of the femoral neck in relation to the femoral shaft in the coronal plane. Femoral rotational malalignment is associated with pain and functional disability, hip impingement and instability. Measurement of antiversion of the femoral neck is an important component of surgical planning. For femoral osteotomy in patients with cerebral palsy or developmental dysplasia of the hip and total hip replacement surgery, Intoing gate due to excessive femoral antiversion is common entity in outpatient children clinics. The intoning is usually resolved spontaneously, but there are children after 8 years of age that the in towing fails to correct spontaneously, and objective monitoring is important. Normal values according to patient's age, especially in clinical settings, are hard to be remembered. Monitoring of femoral antitorsion is indicated, especially in cases with torsional malalignment syndromes and cerebral palsy. The software is a class 2 medical device in the FDA. All information received from the software output must be clinically reviewed regarding its plausibility before patient treatment. The app is indicated for assisting healthcare professionals. Clinical judgment and experience are required to properly use the software.